Today we will see some interesting examples related to SAS criteria for congruence of triangles. In triangle ABC, if line segment AO is drawn as perpendicular bisector on line segment BC, then is AB is equal to AC. It is always helpful to draw a rough figure to solve these type of questions. We are given that line segment AO is perpendicular bisector of line segment BC. Try to think what does this mean? Let us tell you. It means that line segment AO makes right angle with line segment BC and also bisect BC in two equal parts. So by this, O is midpoint of BC. Based on the given information, we can draw a rough figure of triangle ABC. In triangle ABO and triangle ACO, we can see that OB is equal to OC cause O is midpoint of BC. AO is equal to AO because common side of triangle ABO and triangle ACO. Angle AOB is equal to angle AOC is equal to 90 degree cause AO is perpendicular bisector of line segment BC. By this, we can conclude them corresponding. So, by SAS criteria, we can say that triangle ABO is congruent to triangle ACO. Corresponding sides of congruent triangles are also congruent. So, AB is equal to AC. Can you write all congruent sides and angles? Try yourself. In the given figure, whether ADC is congruent to CBA or not, we can see in triangle ADC and triangle CBA, CD is equal to AB. AC is equal to AC because AC is common side. Angle ACD is equal to angle CAB. You can see two corresponding sides and angle between them of triangle ADC are equal to two corresponding sides and angle between them of triangle CBA. Hence, by SAS congruency, we can say that both the triangles are congruent. Here, correspondence are. So, here, triangle ADC is congruent to triangle CBA. Today, we have seen some examples related to SAS criteria for congruence of triangles. In next video, we will clear some myths related to them. Related to them.